once again welcome to my youtube channel maths with is and in this video i want us to discuss a question on volume and the surface area whereby we are asked to calculate the volume and the total surface area of an an unopened this is keyword an opened collar can that is a cylinder with diameter 6 centimeters and height 11. now we we have this collar bottle which is cylindrical in shape and it is not opened so it still has the bottom and the top intact and the diameter is six so we are going to talk about the radius being equals to three centimeters so if the diameter is six the radius is equals to three centimeters so we'll start by calculating the volume and we said that the volume is the area of the cross section times the height and the height here is simply 11 centimeters um, the area of the of the bottom or the top or rather the cross-sectional face is the cylinder is the cylindrical face because when you continue to cut the cylinder throughout you will continue to have the same shape until the top if you start from the top if you continue cutting this cylindrical uh, cylindrical shape horizontally you will continue getting the same circle and that therefore is the cross-sectional area so the volume which is the easiest is actually the base of or rather the area of the cross-sectional face which is circular and the area of a circle is pi r squared of course you now multiply it by the height to get the volume but the r is 3 so uh, pi times 3 squared times 11 and this basically is 9 times 11 this is 99 pi which we can calculate to 99 pi equals to 311 this is 311 centimeter cubed and that is the volume of that shape now that is part a there is part b which is the surface area and i want us to just be very keen here because we have understood from the previous slide that the surface area of a cylinder is the area of the top which is circular the area of the bottom which is also circular and those two circles are equal in shape and of course when we open the circle we form what we call a rectangle we have a rectangle we have seen this in the previous slide now the rectangle from this point a to point b <clears throat> is actually the circumference of the circle because if you want to return uh, this length along the circle you will fold b along this line along that line and a along this line and they will both meet here to return back the circle so the length from a to b is equals to the circumference of the circle that has to be understood very very fast this one remains still 11 and of course a b times 11 is actually the area of the rectangle so let us have this and b and also c so the area of a the area of a is pi r squared and there are two times two this is a this is c plus a uh, this we are going to talk about nine times two that is 18 pi what about the area of the rectangle is the area of b is actually a b times 11 but a b is a circumference we have understood so 2 pi r times 11 which is 6 pi times 11 which is 66 pi 66 pi plus 18 pi 66 plus 18 we get 84 um we get 84 pi uh, this is 2 pi r 
2 pi r times 11 the radius is 6 times 1166 this is 84 pi and as you can see 84 um, uh, answer times pi is equals to 84 pi which is equals to 264 to the nearest whole number which is 264 centimeter squared and that is the surface area of the whole figure now you can already see that the area of b is a b which is the circumference of the circle times the height which is 2 pi times 3 uh, 2 pi r 3 is ra ra radius is 3 the height remains 11 so 66 so the total surface area you add now 18 pi plus 66 pi which is 84 pi and you know pi is 3.142 so uh, our surface area is estimated to be 264 centimeter squared uh, thank you and uh, see you later